Right, we've come to the um, website sites.google.com and you can see here in the dashboard, here are some of the recent sites that I've made. And what we want to do is you can either pick a template, which we're not going to bother with at the moment. We're going to create a blank website. So to start off with, we're going to click a blank website. So just click on here and we have a guide through what's going on. So over here, we've got at the top here, we've got um, our untitled site. We can give it a name. We'll go through that in a moment. We've got the header, which is the page title. And we'll have a look at that in a moment. We've got the header space. We can put graphics on. And in this white space down here, we can add our content. Over on the right hand side, we've got three tabs. We can insert content, we can create different pages, and we can choose our themes. So we'll start with the themes first. And we've got three very basic, um, or five very basic themes here. And within each theme, there is a color palette, or you can customize your color palette. So just for the moment, we're, I'm going to stick with the simple one here. So down here, I'm going to click on, let's choose the purple. So you can see how things change. So I've chose the simple file. We can choose the, the, um, the font style, classic and heavy. I like the light, but we'll just have a look and see what heavy does. That gives it a nice big font size here, which is cool. The whole point about Google Sites is it's meant to be very simple for you to use, very quick and very easy to, for you to use. So let's start thinking about creating some content for our page. So let's give it a name. So let's just, you might, you might want to call it your room name. So you might want to call it room two, two, oh, two, two, whatever. And we could call this, um, hybrid learning. Let's just click on this. And you can see that we can change the font if we wanted to. So we can choose things We make it bungee. So any of those, so let's just highlight this. Come back in, make it bungee if you wanted to. You can uh, make it whatever you want. So if I wanted to choose uh, Chewy, you can do that. Um, it's whatever you want to do. And then you can you know fiddle around with it. And you can make it a title or a heading. Title's nice and big. Let's make it title. And I'm going to stick with the um, sans one here, centered. What options we've got down here, various different things, doesn't matter. Click on that. So there we go. Done. Now, in here we can change the header. So let's click on the header type to look at this. We can make it a cover, which makes it nice and big. Uh, we can make it a large banner. We can make it a banner, or we can make it title only. Um, I'm going to stick with banner because I quite like that. And what we can do now is we can um, click back to here and change the image. Now you've got an option here, you can upload your own image and there's some issues around that. We'll have a look at that in a moment, so I'll show you what I mean. We can click on select image. So there are some um, preset ones here in Google. Let's choose one that's got something. I'm just gonna choose this one here to show you what I mean. It's got objects that are to the left and to the right and to the center. I'm gonna click on this one and click on select and that changes the look and feel of the site. Now, you can upload your own pictures um, and do whatever you like, but you've got to understand that what is going to be shown is the center, because up over here, you can see what your website's going to look like on different devices. We click on preview here. So this is what it looks like down here on a, a computer. This is what it would look like on a tablet. So look, pay attention to what happens to the image. So we've already lost our coffee cup click on here. Now you get more of a coffee cup because the proportion changes. And now if we look on a phone, it changes again. So your image changes. So just close on this. So we see what, see what we see here on um, our device is not necessarily what we see when we um, look at it on different devices. So you choose the picture that you want. Um, and just be careful about and, and aware of what's going to be disappearing. So now that we have um, organized um, at the look and feel of our the basic website, and at any time, if you, if you don't like this, you can come back in and change it. Let's, for example, let's say I like the picture but not the simple style. You can come down here at any time. Let's just switch this to vision. Just click on this. And this is what it looked like under vision or under level or impression. So you know you can look at any one of those and just change them. And of course, if you like impression, but you want to make it yellow, or just change it to a yellow format or green, 
or if, what, if you want a particular color format that you want yourself so you know you just do whatever you want so um, vision look quite cool actually let's change it back to that so we'll leave it on uh, on vision and what we're going to do now is start adding content and as I said you can change these anytime you like so in the white spot we'll just come back to um, insert okay now on the insert tab we've got all these options over here but down here you've got some layouts as well so you might decide for example you want a two column layout on your page you can click on that um, and you can now add content and it was, it's done that for you and you can do a three column layout if you want to um, and whatever you want to do um, so each of those options on the on the side here have got either a duplicate or change the um, section colors so if we wanted to change it to something like this and then you could make it alternate backwards and forwards if you wanted to um, I'm going to get rid of that I'm just going to delete it and I'm going to delete this one but you've got all these options over here using these layout options to make the layout of your page um, however you want to um, with those presets but you can also do it by simply clicking in some white space and this little dial comes up so let's say for example you wanted to add some text you can decide you want to make this a, a heading subheading small text let's make it a heading and over here we've got these options over here we can click on style 3 we can make it an image we can whatever so let's click on style 3 I quite like that and then we can in here we can say uh, let's call this numeracy and again you can change the font heading bold I've got my bold whatever so I'm going to click on here and so now I've made this heading called hybrid learning and numeracy I can click in the space again I can add some text this is normal text this time now this I can change the size of the bar so now I can make my own columns if I wish to so I'm just going to put in here uh, this is some text and if I wanted to I can change this and I can put a image in the background I can make it a different style so we've got some information going on here click on here double, double click again we can upload some content we can add content from Google Drive we can add embed some um, third-party website content and we can add some images so it's very simple for us to create content from this dial over here so let's just delete this one because I want to stick with this and I change this to resources and again we can add content so I like to use over here this this link here so we click to Google Drive it's very easy to put content you've already created in so let's for example um, click on this and it goes straight to my Google Drive here's all my folders etc uh, etc et here's the share with me folder if there's some stuff that people have shared with you you want to pull in I want to click on my recent stuff and so here's all my recent stuff so I'm going to let's look at this uh, Mataliki resource here and a resource I'm making if I wanted to click on this and insert it I select that and click insert now this has been added to my um, page and the students can see this work and of course if you wanted to you can add some text next to this so you can add content in here for students and so now you've made this space and again if you wanted to you can highlight this so I'm going to make it grey that's the one I wanted you can see that so you can make it stand out and you can add more activities you go along so if we click down here we want to go to drive again this time I'm going to use the search function so I'm going to click on search so you can actually search all of your drive by um, using keywords so if I wanted to click in here another Tonga resource and click on this there it is I want to click on this and I want to insert it again and it puts it down here you can start moving things around so I want to zigzag it so it looks like it's interesting I can copy my text so I'm going to um, copy this I'm going to click on here add some text and so now I can start adding content as I go down through here so this is a very simple way of adding content from your Google Drive that your students can access 
um, as you build your site. Next we're going to look at how I can add different pages. 